I'm going to do a classic red mouth. It's quite a matte red that I'm going to do, so it's a bit like a Dita Von Tees type of lip. So I've got foundation on, I've put mascara on, eyebrow pencil, everything else is done. I'm keeping the eyes quite natural-ish compared to the lips because I want them to really be the focus. So I put some lip balm on earlier on before I started doing my foundation, so that's had time to sink in so my lips feel like they're in pretty good condition now. So I'm going to use Max Ruby Woo. It's one of their vintage pigments, retro pigments as they call them. So it's really quite a dense, opaque matte red. Um, and I'm going to use this lip brush, which is one of my favourites, hence it's all peeling and coming to pieces, which is a screen face one. And I really like it because it's got that really nice sort of curve on the end. So you can get kind of a really good shape. So I'm going to go straight in to the lipstick. So I'm going to get only a small amount on the brush. I don't want too much because I want to create initially quite a good stain. This is the way to do a perfect red mouth that's going to stay on all night. So I'm just going to begin by doing the sort of insides. And as you can see, I'm really working the colour into the lips. So kind of by working it like this, I'm getting it into all of the nooks and crannies and getting it really down to the bottom layer of the lips. And just use a small amount and really work it in. So now at this stage, just follow the natural shape of the lip. So don't try and do any correction yet because we want to see what we've got. So get it on quite intensely in the middle and then when there's less on the brush just go up to your natural lip line no further. Now once you've done this that's just following your natural lip line. You can blot if you need to. You shouldn't have used that much that you need to, but it should feel more like a stain really deep into the lips. Now at this stage, you can step back and have a really good look at your lip shape. And the reason I never ever put lip pencil on before with red lips is that you, you wouldn't really un know what shape you're doing. If you try and draw a red line around the outside of your lips, you can't really tell what it's gonna look like until it's filled in. By doing it this way, get a really thin layer on, have a look, and then you can step back and have a good look at the shape of your lips and see, well, okay, so that side's slightly higher than that side. My bottom lip is a little bit thinner than my top lip. And you can start making your adjustments. And also by using a pencil in this way, you're not gonna end up with a line all around the edge. So when the lipstick comes off, you've been out having a few drinks and you end up with no lipstick on and a red line all around the outside, which looks horrible. So that's not going to happen. So start buffing. And by buffing I mean like kind of little circles. So you're slightly going over the lipstick that you've done already. At the same time you're drawing the shape that you want. By the way if you've got perfect shaped lips you don't need to do this. This is for uh, me immortals that haven't got perfect lips. And then you can just also fill in and then have another good look, step back again and just check. Okay, so that side looks good. And now I see that this needs slightly bringing out a fraction. And also don't press too hard. Keep a, a very light grip and keep it quite gentle. You can always use your brush just to, to smooth in. Okay, good top lip, now bottom lip. Smile when you do this because it helps to get them.
just need a fraction more fullness to match the top. Once you get look, used to really looking at your lips, you know exactly what shape they are and what you need to do. So that feels about even to me now. Okay, so then we're going to just quickly blot. Not much will come off because we've more or less got a solid stain going on there. That is a bulletproof stain. That's not going to come off. Now I've got a good shape, a really good base stain. And then either you can finish off with another layer with your brush if you want to be super professional or you can just uh, pat on your next layer. That is going nowhere. If you worry the edges are getting a little bit too hard and they don't quite suit you, just use your finger and gently pat over. Now that is going to stay put whatever you drink, it's not going to move. Now when I do a red lip as precisely as this, I tend to think firstly, not everyone suits a strong eye with it, some people do. I definitely don't so what I like to do instead because this lips very glamorous and it's really good for a night out so what I like to do is use something a little bit shimmery on the on the eyes I'm going to use the um, my face palette which is uh, Morocco and I really like this color in the middle one of their bling tones and it's just really good for sort of using over the top of whatever you've got on underneath so if you've got golds or browns or greys or black even you just pat on over the top and don't be too fussy about it just whatever you do and it just gives instantly a very glamorous eye although it's still neutral enough to balance well with the lips and you can also put a little bit into the inner corner if you want to just get a little bit of a shimmer there now one of the key things with red lips of this magnitude is blusher and I don't honestly think you can get away with absolutely none I think a little bit just helps to balance otherwise you can end up looking a little bit washed out so I'm just going to put a fraction on again I'm going to make sure that it balances so it's the same color in uh, sort of base color as the lips and this really applies with all whenever I put lipstick on people if it's a bright pink I like to do a pink cheek of a similar base tone it just always looks much more professional much nicer as well much more flattering so I'm going to use this Ruby and Millie one and this is red 4-4 so you can see it's got a similar base tone to the lips that I've used and that's just going to really lift my skin but it's going to feel um, completely sort of blended in with the lip and I'm just going to use a little bit not too much just onto the onto the apples of the cheeks and slightly onto the cheekbone because it sort of matches the colour I think straight away you've got that quite sort of glamorous look so if you want a completely snog proof drink proof red lip that's precise and matte this I reckon is the best technique